The Maryland Department of Culture is expanding the spotted lantern flying quarantine zone. The invasive insect from Southeast Asia is becoming a threat to numerous counties. Our Gwen Talbert is live in Bethesda with the details. Gwen? Yes, you're absolutely right. You know, we think about the cicadas invading us, but you might not think about the lantern uh, fire. But you know what? It is out there. And it actually, the reason that they have expanded the quarantine area is because it's been spotted in some other counties where it hasn't been seen before. So that has been a big concern. If you think about your everyday plants at home, take a look around me here. We are in the Sill, which is a store in Bethesda. And this is Savannah. I know everybody's getting ready for their spring planting. So this could be a concern. Tell me what are some of the popular things people are getting. A lot of people have been um, really interested in getting plants as like gifts for people. Um, this plant has been really popular. It's called the Stromanthe Triostar, and it's cool because it has pink under the leaves. Um, and it folds its leaves up at nighttime to go to sleep. So that's really <laughs> cute. All right. Well, that's a pretty nice plant. Now, when we think about these plants, take a look at some of our video when we talk about this uh, infestation that's out there. Uh, right now, the worst is actually in Washington County, as well as Harford County and Baltimore County, where you're, we were told that you see them just even walking around the block, that they are definitely out there and definitely a concern. They're not toxic. They're not danger to humans or to pets. They don't bite or they don't sting, but they are really very poor in terms of when it comes to affecting agricultural crops and things of that sort and plants. I spoke earlier to a representative from the Maryland Department of Ag or Agriculture. Excuse me. Take a listen. If you were to go to some of the vineyards in Harford or Cecil that have been very heavily, um, heavily preyed upon for a long time now, since, um, you know, since 2018, you would definitely run into them. Um, you would see them um, just in the trees at the edge of the property um, or even on the vines. And if for some reason you found yourself beside a vineyard uh, vine crop, but um, in grocery stores, not so much. So you're not really going to find them very common, you know, among your everyday plants or things of that sort. But the crops out there are definitely going to be in danger. And that's why they're really trying to get a handle on this and to get the word out to people. Now, you don't have to worry about them in an environment like this. And I want to say that Savannah has told us to spread the word that you can come right here and pick up some plants. But as well, they're having a terranium workshop on March the 12th. They want to invite you to. But one thing that they are telling me about these little insects is if you see them, Make sure that you report to the uh, department about where you spotted them and where exactly, but also in order to get rid of them when you see them, just squish them or maybe even use a fly swatter. They said that's the best way to handle it. Back to you.